This video provides a summary for the Avance CS Squared and Avance on how to power the system on, perform a checkout, setting up and starting a case, and ending a case. Please refer to the user manual for more information on how to operate this equipment. I'm Lisa Nolan, Global Education Leader with GE Healthcare. For the Avance CS Squared and Avance, connect the gas supply hoses to the wall gas source or turn on the gas cylinders. Plug the power cord into an electrical outlet. Make sure the system circuit breaker located in the lower back is switched in the on position. To power the system on, move the switch from left to right to the on position. It will take approximately 45 seconds for the display screen to turn on. The green LED next to the system switch indicates there is AC power going to the system. Complete a daily periop checkout as described in the user's manual. The anesthesia machine is intended to be power cycled and fully tested once a day. All accessories that will be used during the case should be attached to the circuit to ensure accurate circuit compliance. When using a GE Healthcare respiratory gas module, make sure to connect the sampling line to the sampling port proximal to the anesthesia device with respect to the heat moisture exchange filter or HMEF. Follow the on-screen instructions and select full test. The full test is broken up into two parts, vent and gas and circuit leak. The vent and gas portion of the test checks the airway module, bag to vent switch, proper gas supply pressures, ventilator operation and leak, battery and electrical power, circuit compliance, and flow control operation. The circuit leak test checks the bag to vent switch, proper gas supply pressures, airway pressure measurement transducer, APL valve, and manual circuit leak. Perform a check on the O2 cell if there is no integrated gas module. Press Start Case to open the Start Case menu. Use the Start Case menu to set the case data and start the gas flow. A case can be started using default or custom settings. The case default selection shows the four default case types and the ability to use your last case setting. Each case type has a preset value for ideal weight, age, and volume apnea alarm. To select a case default, select a case type from the menu. The volume apnea and CO2 alarms can be left on or turned off. If the volume apnea and CO2 alarms are turned off, they will turn back on once the bag to vent switch is moved to ventilation. To enter your patient's age, select age. To enter your patient's weight, select weight. Select Start Anesthesia and the fresh gas flow starts. When starting a case, always ensure gases are flowing. Anesthesia devices are not automatically configured to begin mechanical ventilation when a case is started. The devices are configured for both manual ventilation, often referred to as bag mode, and mechanical ventilation. When the device is in bag mode, the device is not providing any ventilation support to the patient. When the device is in manual ventilation, maximum pressure is managed by the adjustable pressure limit, or APL valve. If ventilating the patient manually, ensure the APL pressure limit is appropriate for the patient. Mechanical ventilation begins by moving the bag to vent switch to the vent position. Ventilation will begin at the previous configured or default settings. If needed, Press the O2 flush button to inflate the bellows. To change your O2 percent, 
press the O2% Quick Key. Select from the Quick Pick menu or manually set by rotating and confirming on the comm wheel. To set your flow rate, press your Flow Rate Quick Key and select from the Quick Pick menu or manually set by rotating and confirming with the comm wheel. To change the vent mode, select Mode to choose the appropriate ventilation mode for the patient. Use the comm wheel to dial in the tidal volume or inspiratory pressure and confirm by using the comm wheel or by pressing the quick key. To change the vent settings, select the ventilator quick key for the desired parameter to change. Use the comm wheel to dial in the setting and confirm by using the comm wheel or the quick key. Select audio pause for a two minute audio pause. To adjust your alarms, select alarm setup. From the primary limits and or more limits tab, select the alarm limit to adjust and make the change. Press the comm wheel in to confirm. To close the menu, press the home key, touch the waveform area of the display or select close. To end the case, set the bag to vent switch to bag and select end case. Select end case now on the menu to put the system in standby.